this is a very big deal for Intel because they unveiled the, their Panther Lake processor. It's the first chip that's built on what they're calling the most advanced manufacturing process here in the United States yet. And it's a really big technical milestone that proves Intel has finally caught up to the industry leader TSMC Taiwan Semi after years and years of falling behind. The chips, these new ones, are significantly faster, more efficient, already in production at Intel's Arizona factory. So that's also a bit of news today, too, with laptops hitting shelves around CES in January. Two years ago, though, this probably would have been huge news. Intel bringing in chip production back from TSMC to a certain degree, hitting its targets, improving profits by making chips in-house. It's exactly what the turnaround story needed. But as you pointed to, Brian, shares are what? Barely, yeah, barely negative right now. The stock has already surged 86% this year on government backing, not product launches. U.S. took a 10% stake in August. NVIDIA, SoftBank invested. President Tr Trump went uh, from attacking CEO Lip Bhutan to backing off. All of that speculation may already be priced in. Panther Lake proves Intel can make competitive chips for itself, but real success really means winning contracts from other chip makers to fill that foundry business. Until Intel announces a major customer willing to pay them for manufacturing chips, they're kind of just filling their own factories, not truly competing with TSMC. The tech works, but investors want proof someone else is going to buy it.